good Tuesday morning. Utah time is currently 513. We talked about it yesterday that this morning was probably going to be a soggy go of things on the Wasatch front and the Wasatch back. And that's exactly what we're dealing with this morning. If you're waking up in southern Utah, just want to let you know that as we go throughout the next couple of hours, things will be relatively calm and will be relatively mild. You'll start to really see the effects of the cold front once we get into the second half of the day today. But we'll go ahead and start off first in northern Utah, where we are tracking valley rain and mountain snow stretching from eastern Box Elder County down through Utah County. And you can definitely tell that more of the high, higher elevations with these areas shaded in blue are seeing more times of snow showers and around Park City looks like we're kind of seeing a mix right now. Wouldn't be surprised if we see some straight snow. So if you're heading out this morning in the Wasatch back, be careful. And if you're heading out this morning along the Wasatch front, we will be looking at those wet streets out there. So last night, the elevation for the snow levels started off quite high, but right now it looks like it's right around 7,000 feet, could drop to around 5,500 feet as we go throughout the morning. And then by tomorrow morning, actually could see it drop down to the valley floors. The thing is though, the best chance of wet weather is from now through around the afternoon. By the time we get into tonight, the moisture will start to leave. However, there will be at least some potential that we could see a few spotty showers tomorrow morning, mainly in the form of some lake effect showers. We'll get you caught up on that in just a second. Well, let's go ahead and time things out for you on the future cast to so give you a little bit better perspective of what we're going to be seeing through today. So at 7 o'clock this morning, within the next couple of hours, the future cast still showing more or less what we're seeing out there right now. And that's going to be valley rain and mountain snow throughout northern Utah. I actually think we'll see a little bit more than what this particular future cast is showing. Then this is midday today showing the showers becoming more isolated to scattered in nature. But what it will show is that as we go through the afternoon, instead of the showers completely coming to an end, we're still going to be holding on to a pretty good chance even throughout the afternoon. And by this afternoon, we even could see a few showers as far south as Cedar City. For those of you in St. George, you're likely going to be staying on the dry side of things when it comes to this particular system with maybe a slight chance by this evening into tonight. And then as we go into tonight, that moisture starts to move away to the east. However, six o'clock tomorrow morning, it might be hard to see here, but the forecast model as hinting at the potential of seeing some lake enhancement or even some lake effect. It's all going to depend on which direction the winds are coming in. And right now it looks like that best chance will be over in Tooele County. But then by tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, all that moisture is gone and that core of the colder air will really be in place by then. When it comes to how much snow we're expecting up in our northern Utah mountains, generally between two and six. But as you make your way up towards the Bear River range, we could see a little bit more and we also could see more for places like the upper Cottonwoods if everything comes together and we also could see snow as far south as Brian Head. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that we can get as much snow as we possibly can up at our resorts. And speaking of which, here's what it currently looks like from Park City Mountain with that snow that is currently coming down. I love to see a live view of the snow coming down. Hopefully we can cash in on some of the accumulations there. Temperatures this morning waking up pretty chilly in northern Utah, mainly in the 30s and 40s up north. But down in southern Utah, it's 56 in Cedar City, 58 in St. George. Well, with that temperature sitting at 31 degrees in Park City, you're likely seeing straight snow at this particular point. So once again, be careful on that morning drive. Here's what it currently looks like. Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab. I did mention that if you're waking up in southern Utah, it's pretty quiet. Clear skies in Moab with the temperature sitting at 45 degrees. You can see the twinkling stars. Daytime highs in northern Utah, just a little bit different compared to what we saw yesterday. Mainly going to be in the 40s and 50s. Then it'll be turning really chilly into tonight. Then as we make our way down into central and southern Utah, daytime highs mainly in the 50s and 60s as St. George will be the warm spot coming in around 70 degrees. And St. George will go from 70 this afternoon to the low 60s for daytime highs over the next few days. And even your overnight lows in St. George will be chillier. So you're not going to see the main brunt of this cold front, but you will definitely feel the cooler temperatures. We should see our temperatures moderating by this Veterans Day weekend. And by Monday, we'll be back to around 70 degrees. Then on the Wasatch front, a good chance for showers as we go through today. Be careful out on the roadways, dropping to near freezing tonight. Then it's mid to upper 40s Wednesday and Thursday with overnight lows dropping into the 20s. Temperatures will begin to moderate, though, a little bit heading into the Veterans Day weekend, low 50s Friday and Saturday. Then daytime highs in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees Sunday into Monday. Let's go ahead and check the traffic out.